of my Thailand Rota for Thai Food Festival travel kind of thing Q&A. That didn't even make sense. I thought I would quickly do the personal questions that I was asked. But yeah, first question is, Colette Leiden, who is the best person you've met and who do you hang out with the most? Oh my gosh, I can't pick just one person. All the people I've met are amazing. Everyone is different and everyone is just so like-minded at the same time, if that makes sense. It's just being great getting to know so many amazing people and forming your own little close friendships. Um, the people I hang around with the most, I'll post some group photos here. So this is pretty much the kind of group of people that I've been hanging out with. Who else? Oh gosh, I don't want to say out everyone. Pretty much those kind of people I've been hanging out with the most. Yeah, just meeting everyone from Instagram. It's been incredible. Just like people that you follow and talk to and everything. It's great. This is from Eat Healthy G. Did you ever get sick during your time? Yes. <laughs> I'm sick right now, unfortunately. I don't look, I probably don't look it, but been going to the toilet various times a day, being really dehydrated, just lethargic. I don't know what it's from. I'm thinking it's from the water. I might have drank some tap water, but I don't know. I might have caught a bug. I'm in good spirits and I'm, ha I'm still happy. I'm just going to take it easy for the next few days. Next question is from DJ Verstijnen. Where do you want to travel next? Um, okay, so I'm going to Bangladesh on the 22nd of July to go and meet Bo. I'm so excited to see him. So we'll be in Bangladesh for 10 days and then I'll come back to Chiang Mai on my own. And then I'll meet Bo again at the end of September in Sri Lanka. And then our travel plans will kick off from there. We don't know where we'll go from there. We have a rough idea. I know we want to go to Nepal and volunteer, um, like I mentioned in my travels update video. But other than that, maybe India and yeah, just going with the flow. Um, this is from Mary underscore vegan. How could you afford this adventure? I saved a lot of money before I came. Like I worked my bum off though. I worked really hard for this. I was working 12 to 14 hour days nearly every day. I was doing endless night shifts. I was sacrificing the things that I love to be able to come here. I wasn't exercising as much. I wasn't eating the best quality food I could have been eating. I had to give up seeing my friends and spending time with them, you know, and just having a life in general. It was really hard. It was a really hard time for me mentally and physically, but it was all worth it. I mean, I loved the job that I was doing. I loved the people I was working with that were amazing. It was like working with your friends at school. I, I really enjoyed it actually. And I would go back there any day, but I did work really hard to be here. So if you have a dream, if you have a goal, work your ass off for it because you're not gonna get there sitting on your bum, doing nothing and wishing that you could be there. You gotta take action. Okay, this is from I Love Fruit and Veg. What are your travel plans once you have finished your big adventure? My travel plans, well, this is my big adventure and I don't know when it's going to finish. So this is like my big adventure now. These are my travel plans now. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. And I think we're just going to hope to travel for as long as we possibly can and just see where it takes us and where we end up. We don't know if we'll go back to Australia. We don't know whether we'll, you know, stay in Thailand or go live somewhere else abroad. We don't know. I just want to go with the flow right now. I don't want to live in the past or the future. I just live in the now. <laughs> okay, next question is from Maria Veradnik. Oh, I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Would you recommend coming to Thailand alone? Yes, I mentioned that in my last video. Sorry, I didn't know I was going to mention that again. But yes, it's the safest country. I highly recommend coming alone. Don't be scared. You'll know so many people here anyway to look after you. So... This is from Carb Planet. Did you, did you make friends with everyone or gravitate towards other Instagrammers and YouTubers? I made friends with everyone, of course. You tend to gravitate towards the people that, you know, you get along with really well. Like it's like an attraction. It's a, the law of attraction kind of thing. I realized I was already really good friends with these people before I ever met them because we had been talking online via Instagram and YouTube and social media platforms for a while now, almost a year. I mean. 
Kahadi, the vegan dance girl. Me and her have been talking for over a year. Ever since I was in Germany last year and Michelle and Johnny and Holistic Lotus, I was friends with Lauren before I came to this festival. I was friends with Lily before I came to this festival. I was friends with Al from Fruitarian Al. You know, that we'd actually met in real life. So I think it's that we already knew each other online and had spoken so much and actually met in real life that you know, we kind of hung out more during a festival, if that makes sense. I mean, don't ever hesitate to contact anyone that, that you want to meet at the festival because who knows, I could end up being a best friend. I think everyone that I've met here have become my best friends. I love everyone here. So it's not that I gravitated to anyone who had more followers or more subscribers on YouTube. That did not mean shit to me. You could have a hundred subscribers and I'd still be your best friend. Like it was because we socialized and caught and interacted so much on Instagram and YouTube leading up to the Thai fruit festival that we kind of hung out a bit more, if that makes sense. I also forgot to mention in my last video how much my bike cost. So I'm going to do it now. My bike cost around 17,500 baht, which is like 720 Australian dollars. It is a Trek 1.1 something, I don't know. Well, here's a photo of it anyway. <laughs> and it is a beauty. I got a free helmet, a free 34 cassette upgrade. I got lights put on and everything. So in total it was like 18,000 baht, which is an absolute bargain, I think. Yeah, so my bike costs around that much money. Sorry, I totally forgot to mention that in my last video. I just remembered then. <laughs> This is another one from Appealing Lifestyle. Hey girl, do you miss making nice cream and smoothies since moving to Thailand? Oh my God, yes. Like I crave banana ice cream every single day of my life. The struggle is real. And I think that's about it. I'm trying to look for some more, but they're pretty much all the same questions and the frequently asked questions again. If you haven't checked out part one already, go check it out for all the frequently asked questions about the Rotor 4 Thai Fruit Festival and about Thailand and about travel in general. It's honestly been the most amazing experience of my life meeting so many like-minded people, just exploring this amazing world that we live in. So do it, take the opportunity to save your money, come next year, you don't need that much. Come for two weeks, come for one week, come for a month, just come. We're changing the world one banana at a time here in Chiang Mai, seriously come. And I'm getting like a dead foot sitting here on the tiles. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wrap it up, my little mangoes. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.